Sundance was even going to accept our film. Because at the time, I was under the impression that the only kind of films that get into Sundance are films about starving kids in Africa or, you know, uh, war-torn children and things like that. I thought they were going to laugh at Dogtown. Somebody suggested that we send it in, and I didn't even want to send the film in because I didn't want the disappointment of not getting in the film, film festival. But this woman kept pounding on us, no, you got to do it, you got to do it, they're going to love your film, they're going to love your film. So we did it. And surprisingly, we got in. But then someone else told us, they go, hey man, it's one thing to get into Sundance, but if no one comes to see your film up there, it's dead. Dead. No one's going to buy it. You'll never see it again. So then we go up to Sundance, freaked out. Oh God, no one's going to see our film. It's going to be over with, you know. So we wore sandwich boards, went up and down the street and say, come see our film. Well, the first day we get there, we check in, you know, and I'm, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a very confident person. We check in and all these filmmakers are checking in and, looking around going, God, these are the real people. These are the people that really do make films. We're just kind of like the phonies. And, you know, we're waiting in line, and we get up to the front desk, and the woman goes, uh, tell me what film you're with. And I said, we're with Dogtown. And she stops what she's doing, and she looks at me. And gives me this long stare, and I went, oh, God, she's got bad news. <laughs> she goes, wow. She goes, you have six screenings in your film, and already they're sold out. And I went, what? She goes, oh yeah. She goes, there's so much excitement of your film. And I went, wait a minute, is there another film here you called Dogtown? Because <laughs> we did not expect this. We just had no clue. And it, it took off. But I guess the, the point I'm getting to is what we discovered at Sundance is how many people who were not skateboarders liked that film. They'd stop us on the street and they said, I grew up in Ohio. I've never stood on a skateboard in my life. But that film was just like my own childhood because there were universal themes in it. And that's the point where I learned as a filmmaker I've got to go both ways. I've got to appease the crowd that the film is about, but I also want to make it universal. And that's what making a story is all about. And that's what I strive for in all my films. I don't always succeed, but that's what I strive for. That was the most difficult interview I did on that trip. We were in Hawaii and we couldn't find Jay. And we kept meeting these kind of unusual people that kept saying, yeah, um, Tomorrow, meet us at this location. We'll have Jay. You'd show up at that location. Um, call this guy, and he'll lead you to Jay. It was this kind of like string of pearls that we had to finally find out. And finally get to this house. And we get there, and it's kind of a strange place on the west side of Hawaii. Uncomfortable, old place. We get there, and we go, is Jay here? And they go, yeah, Jay's here. OK, where is he? He's in that room. He'll be out in a while. And it was just so weird the way the whole thing was set up. So we set the camera up. We kind of waited. And then Jay came out of the room, and it was like, hey, man. How are you? I haven't seen you in a long time. And he sat down and we started doing the interview and I hadn't seen him like that in a long time and it was really disturbing to me and I had a hard time keeping my filmmaker hat on to do that interview. Um, I just had such a hard time concentrating on it. It was real. I kept having to bring myself back because I was getting sucked into who he was and who he had become and, and the kind of state that he was in at that time. You know, so it was a, it was a hard thing. But then balancing the film out, I had the guys come in and see the film on, on early uh, things. I, I showed them early cuts of the film. I wanted them to be happy with it. I didn't want them to be bummed with it at all. And I wanted to get any problems out of the way prior to screening it to the world. I did the same thing with the gang members. I brought them into a screening, and boy, man, was that an interesting evening. <laughs> You want me to go again? I just want you to hook, yeah, hook it up someplace else. Um, I'd like to darken that up, but well, it's probably that adhesive. Damn.